Welcome back everybody, this is Mark, aka Sonic Kamehameha, and I'm here to start with the Extreme Variant cards. Now these cards are typically just the ones that are just a step above the Hero Unit cards, but they have their, uh, they have their best opportunities to be on par with Sparking Units if they're aligned in a very niche-like team. I'll, g I'll get to that more in when I explain more about the cards in general. But uh, Extreme Units are not to be slept on. So just remember that extreme. if you get pull up an extreme, especially a new one, they're just or probably equally as valuable to sparking units um, in the game has to offer. So be sure not to sleep on these units. Try to get them to 2,000 if you don't have options uh, to run you know, as a sparking unit because they are pretty good and solid for what they do. So for starters, we're going to go from the red cards all the way to the blue cards up. And of course, the first one that pops up is Khalifla base form and this is her uh, aura effect i'm not sure if you're able to do anything more with it i think that's practically it or you, yeah there you go slide it to the side and boom you have her team so uh just to kind of give you a better grading scale than i did with the hero cards because the hero cards were hero cards uh i'm going to rate this on a three star scale one i mean three being the highest three is uh, typically I want to say the best extreme unit that a, the extreme unit can possibly be on its team not necessarily the best unit in the game uh two would probably just be it's good for what it does but nothing spectacular and one would pretty much just be trash and anything below that would just be considered trash and not necessarily good for most events it could possibly be good for what a game would say oh yeah use trash cards and they get a huge buff that's not necessarily what we're getting at just one it just it doesn't have that much utility for it so without further ado Khalifa is going to be the card that we're going into today and as you see i already got her to a three star rank i have not pulled a lot of her she's pretty elusive for what you can get but she is a really good unit a uh, very good alternative for the female warriors team as you will see here so i'm going to go into a little bit more depth with these cards as opposed to the hero ones and you will see why pretty soon so i got her maxed out at 2000 not something i do with a lot of extreme units but she has been very very useful here are her stats uh i don't really go much too much into stats unless it's super you know game breaking so this is kind of what it is uh, interesting enough she is for the universal survival saga not a lot of characters in the game at the time of this recording have that tag so she's pretty much going to be a sleeper for that tag if they buff it later in the game's life so uh, now we have uh, arts cards these are double blast a double blast i'm guessing is because she really likes to shoot key blast a whole bunch kind of her thing and then you got character tags, which of course she has the most universally best used tag, Saiyan, and then Female Warrior, and then to, I think the probably the worst one is probably Universe 6. Not much you could really do with that one right now. So we got her Arts cards. She has your standard strike attack. I believe it's pretty good, pretty good damage. Blast though, but because she is a range type, that's something I don't want to forget here. Because she's a range type, her blast attacks are going to do more damage than her strikes. So her kit is way more, um, I want to say, uh, favoring the blast side as opposed to the strike. Uh, not bad for her kit. I know I've talked bad about blast uh, stuff in the past, but you know you can't you, you can't really dodge that effectively uh, compared to strike cards. They're just really better in every other way. Damage wise, of course, she's going to do more. And we got Crush Cannon here, and besides, you know, the typical explode damage that a lot of the hero cards have, most extreme cards are going to have some gimmick or added uh, technical buff to it. So we're going to see her her uh, ultimate skill or special skill, whatever they want to call it, the blue card deal is Crush Cannon. I guess they have to name it something similar to Broly's stuff. So uh, deals major explode damage, plus 15% to blast damage inflicted for 10, 15 timer counts upon activation. So what does that mean? Uh, pretty much uh, for about 15 seconds, every time you hit, you follow up this with uh, you know attack from any of your party with a blast attack, meaning uh, this type of thing here, it is going to do an extreme amount of damage for that duration amount of time. And I say extreme, it's 15%. You know, percentages count, especially when you have other buffs added on. And Crush Cannon is not really that bad as, of a super attack. It's, it's a beam or a blast it contained a circular blast so it's it's clashable with other uh, beam attacks 
So then we have over here unlock key form of speed, restores own vanishing gauge by 40%, uh, plus 20% to own recovery for 15 timer counts. All right, so this does something pretty pretty interesting. So restores own vanishing gauge. So if you find yourself in a pickle where somebody re knows that you wasted a vanish and you're kind of some sort of distance away from them and you probably healed up maybe about 60% of your of your key gauge or whatever it is. And this can pretty much save you uh, and give you an, an extra dodge just in case of emergency. It's not something you'll probably be thinking about unless you have some space between you and your opponent. So this is a pretty good uh, you know safety net if it does help out in the end. And plus to giving you 20% uh, you know, of your own key recovery, which is really, really good, especially if you want to uh, chain things together, get your key back faster. Uh, pretty, pretty good all overall. Now we're going to go to her abilities is kind of what makes or breaks her character. Uh, bring it on, restores own key by 50, increases arts card draw speed by one level for 15 timer counts. And minus 10 to own blast card. So get blast arts car a cost for 15 timer counts. So this is very, really, really, really good because you are subtracting the amount of cost for her key blast, which is her pretty much her, her best attribute for this kit. And you're restoring 50 uh, you know key cost or your key your key wheel, whatever it is. And especially from, from experience using this card a lot. If you end up uh, low on key, but you want to uh, continue to string a whole bunch of, of uh, you know, whatever cards you had left over, but you're low on cost, activating this thing will be uh, the best thing for you because it can give you just enough key to complete your cards, uh, your card combo that are left on the screen. Very, very useful. I have, I have absolutely nothing really bad to really say on this because it's it's very useful in a, in a fight, uh, whether you're uh, trying to just get your key back trying to power up yourself so you have that as your kind of a backup source to your uh your unlock key here usually these green type cards give you the ability to buff up your attacks not this one it's just there to be speedy so this one here kind of uh, does that for just a short amount of time and is uh you know very useful in the key department so it's a very good main ability the ability here is plus 20 percent to element red base blast attack and defense so she's not a female warrior buff uh, person here, but she is helping a mono red team, which is very, very good, especially when you have events like the current one right now, the space time thing. You kind of want to have uh, a lot of uh, mono reds or mono color types right now, just so you can complete those. And at five, she gets 2% uh, more, and she does the uh, attacking defense as well. So that's always a good... Uh, Good ability to have when you have an attack and defense uh, double buff. So her unique ability here is plus 40% to damage inflicted when this character enters the battlefield. Uh, this effect is cancelled when enemy lands an attack. Interesting. Plus 40% of damage inflicted when this character enters. Okay, so every time she swaps in, she's doing an additional 40% for the first attack that she lands. So that's very, very interesting. So it's a one-time buff when she shows up and lands the attack. Interesting, interesting. All right, so energize female warrior blast up. Plus 20% 20, 20 to female warrior blast damage for 15 timer counts when this, can, when this character enters the battlefield. So if you put her on a female only team, she will get uh, the essentially 60% on the first attack that she does, which is not bad. It's actually really, really good considering the team that she would be put on. Unfortunately, she isn't helping them out. So if you probably, in later down the line, have an all-female red team, she'd probably shine the most. And yeah, that that's pretty much all her kit does. From experience of using this card here, because uh, her soul boost, I think she, I got her all the way to max here, or probably not. No, I, I gave her the bare minimum uh, just to get through here. But the, the character card here as well, you know, not only looks good, but it's very, very good as a unit to use on the team. You have her using... Um, you know that one time 40% buff when she's you know throw is thrown into the battlefield that happens very very often so when you start switching a whole bunch you will be seeing that 40% actually doing stuff you know it, it, it sucks that she, it's not a it's not a, a, a unconditional buff but I know that's a, that would probably be deserving of a sparking unit but uh, yeah you know this extreme unit is really really good and I will say that in terms of 
usability she is a three star and <laughs> not just because i see one here but i would say in terms of usability she's a three star just based on her usability and flexibility to keep herself alive and uh to sustain herself as a range type so yeah that's that's khalifa's extreme card uh thank you guys for watching this and i'll see you guys uh tomorrow for the next uh extreme unit card see you guys